What's new in MIUI 13 China builds? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in MIUI 13 China builds. Now, why am I specifically mention that this is MIUI 13 China build? That is because other entertainers out there will not tell you it is MIUI 13 China. Whereas it is me UI 13 China and when the international build releases you find that features are missing that is because MIUI has always been like this that the Chinese build has more features than the international variants for the same MIUI number so again keep that in mind that this are the features of MIUI 13 China the first change you will notice is that you do have a new logo for the digits 13 and again because i am running a beta build right now i think that is the reason why the 13 is not colorful on the stable build of miui 13 i did have a colorful logo then you will notice that the ram here says 6 plus 2 gb now on supported devices for miui you do have a feature called memory extension which i think is in settings additional settings memory extension once you enable this you get something called virtual ram which is why over here it is mentioning that i have 6 gb plus 2 gb that is because the 2 gb is your virtual ram and again in all specs as well 6 plus 2 gb and i think if you have the 8 gb variant you get 3 gb of virtual ram the next change you will notice is that the control center i mean the animation is pretty dope but it is even more closer to its big daddy or big papa as i call it which is your ios control center so yes me ui is moving even more closer to ios than it ever was next up you will notice that with this new launcher if you try to access the widgets you do have a bunch of new widgets they are of course downloaded from the internet and here it is these are your new widgets which are available another feature of this launcher is if you go into settings you have a toggle to do not show the text once you do that the text label at the bottom of those icons disappeared you can of course go back and enable it ui is going to restart and bam the text labels are now back next up if we go into settings and then you go into connection and sharing me ui plus beta here and you have something called handoff where and if you're signed on to multiple MIUI devices using the same MIUI account you know you can continue your tasks videos documents clipboard access across multiple devices again you have to be signed into the same MIUI account and it is going to use the bluetooth functionality on your device for this handoff feature and again this i think is a copy of apple's airdrop and all the other continuity features which apple has then you will also notice that they have added a new font so for that we can go into settings display and once you are in settings display you can go into font settings here it is you do have the new me sans font and again you can change the size of the font and you can also change the weight as well wherein this is like more bolder as you go towards the right hand side so a new font has also been added other than that your refresh rate of 60 120 and other features of reading mode changing the brightness level color scheme etc are also there then they have also added the android 12 one-handed mode so you can go into settings additional settings one-handed mode enable this toggle then you can go back swipe down from your bar over here at the bottom and bam there it is one-handed mode kicked in and it is working absolutely fine on this specific build then we can go back into the additional settings and here and if you go into accessibility and for starters let us enable the accessibility menu shortcut so this here is the shortcut which we are talking about now if you go back go into accessibility button customization you can of course change the size of this button and then you can also change the transparency as well so here it is you do have a slider to configure the transparency of this accessibility button which we had just enabled then they have also added something called your 
sidebar so if you go into the settings option then you go into special features sidebar bam here it is always show the sidebar and now you have a small bar on the left hand side and then you can you know configure what all applications you want to see over here once you tap on any application it is going to open up in a floating window again you can also change the location where you want this floating bar so going back into the sidebar option toolbox position you can change it to the right as well and then again go into game to add whatever applications you want to add it and i think it was previously known as video toolbox and now they have renamed it to the sidebar next up if you access the screen recorder then you are going to see two new options once you go into the screen recorder settings so you have toggles to enable or disable your touch gestures and the button taps unfortunately you still do not get the option of recording system audio and microphone at the same time something which i think the gamers out there would have appreciated then with respect to your wallpapers let us go into settings wallpaper and personalization and if you go into the library section as for your super wallpapers no new super live wallpapers have been added with miui 13 but you do get some pretty cool looking live wallpapers which include your molten glass and you also have the crystallization wallpapers now those of you who do not have miui devices and you want these wallpapers for your android device we do have a video showing you how to install these wallpapers on any android device without having to root it and that video can be found in the description of this video next up they have added a privacy watermark feature for your pictures so once you open the camera application go into more go into documents then you can tap on this privacy icon on the top middle and if you want to edit the watermark you can go ahead and edit it i am using my name over here and now let us go ahead and take a picture for starters you will notice that the viewfinder has that specific word or watermark which i am trying to add to the picture which i have taken once you've taken the picture go to your gallery application here it is this is the picture which we just took and you can see that the watermark is there now if you want to you know add a watermark to existing picture you can do that as well all you need to do is go to your gallery application open any picture and then tap on the three dot menu on the bottom right here and say protective watermark and let us try to add this do not copy one and there it is you can see that the picture now has two watermarks my name Manchi and the do not copy thing you can of course customize that text in case you want to add a watermark to your existing pictures then the other thing which they announced during the MIUI 13 presentation was that they are going to add some fraud prevention and other privacy features in the privacy options now i cannot find those features on this specific build and i'm not even sure if they're going to make it over to the global builds or not and there it is peeps those were the new features of miui 13 china build and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you